Hello scientists, welcome to Draw Mad, the scientific illustration channel for scientists. And this video, we will be drawing a mouse in Inkscape. Uh, before we get into it, please give a thumbs up and also subscribe to join this creative scientist community. And uh, without further ado, let's get into our tutorial. I bought this photo from Shutterstock. Uh, I bought their license. I highly recommend you to use your own photo, the photo that you took for your lab animal. So first, let's grab our visor tool to trace the overall shape of the uh, mouse body. And uh, yeah, just uh, click and drag, then you can curve the, uh, the path so it fits the mouse body. And uh, just speed up this part uh, so you don't need to wait for me. You can use the tool Edit Path by Nodes to uh, make minor adjustments. Okay, now I will draw the eye, so uh, I will draw a circle. And then uh, I will remove the color so we get to see the reference eye. I will modify the shape a little bit. And in order to do that, I, we need to first go to object and then click on this object to path. Then uh, you will have these nodes to uh, move around and move the bottom one a little bit upward. So uh, it uh, fits the overall mouse eye is bad, better. And then we can start tracing the ear. So it's the just like tracing a body, it's just use the bezier tool to trace it. So I will also speed it up. Okay, and we can fill in a pink color into our mouse ear. And for the orifice, I will use a more saturated color. So it looks like it's uh, going in. And I will move the helix of the ear to the front. So you see uh, why I have that uh, lower part uh, because then it looks like the, uh, the the part of the ear that's connecting to the body. Okay, then we can trace the back ear. Okay, and the nose, uh, we will just quickly use a bezier tool to draw a triangle triangular shape. Make sure you have the corners a little bit rounded so it looks more organic. Okay, now I will fill in uh, this red into the mouse eye and then uh, also a lighter pink into the nose. And uh, I will just quickly fill in this white, the body and this gray to the back ear. So the back ear looks like it's at the back. And uh, I will apply a gradient in the body so uh, just grab the gradient tool and then click and drag. Then you will be able to create this vertical gradient. You see that when the nodes is uh, blue color, that means it's selected. And when you click on a color swatch, then that color in a swatch will fill in into the gradient. So I'll pick this gray to fill it into the gradient. And now it looks like we have a shadow on the mouse body. Okay, I will create a highlight on the mouse eye. So uh, just draw a circle and then uh, make the fill into a pure white. And uh, I will move it uh, forward a little bit so it looks like the light is coming from the upper left. Right, uh, I'll move the reference photo to the uh, left. And then I'll draw some uh, fur to cover up the uh, connected part of the ear and the body. So just quickly grab your bezier tool to uh, draw like a, this crooked shape around the, the parts that you want to merge with the body and fill in with the white. And you see that uh, the fill is going to the opposite side that we want it to be. So uh, we will need to break this path uh, in order to adjust to where the white fill goes. And I will also remove the black outline of the shape. So now it looks like a white fur that's coming out from the mouse body. And we will do the same thing on the back here. Uh, it's the same process. Now we're ready to give our mouse the feet. And um, so uh, it's the same as the body, just uh, use the visor tool to, to trace it. Uh, it depends on how detailed you want your uh, mouse feet to be. Um, it, because eventually they will look very small and it's okay if you don't draw it with a lot of details. Once you finish tracing the foot, uh, just uh, move it to the body and then send it to the back. And I will just uh, quickly finish the, uh, the rest of the feet. And we can come to our last part, which is the mouse tail. And make sure the tail is slightly longer than the mouse body. So uh, that's one of the main difference between mouse and rat uh, that uh, they're 
tail is longer. This is how you draw a mouse in Inkscape. And if you want to learn how to draw a rat, you can check out this video. I hope this can help you with your research publication. Uh, if you find this helpful, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to Jovalmet for more of these videos. I look forward to seeing you in the future videos.